How are you guys? It's been a year, right? A little bit more than a year. A year and a few days that we met each other. Yeah, those were amazing times. So, before I start talking about Joel Seymour and about his people and stuff, I want to read something from my diary that I wrote during GYLC time. Yep, I'm going to read them now, right? Okay, it goes something like this. Hmm. My South African group is quite diverse. Well, I have got Beatrice, Anna, Jose and John. I knew these guys, but the rest are newcomers. And it's quite, well, a hugely diverse group. We have got people from different ethnicity, different races, different religions, and different part of the world, and so on. The majority of us are girls, around 11 girls and 5 guys. Weird ratio. Well, I think I'm gonna read only that much about it because it's generalized and the rest are sort of sulking and tired mood type entry so I'm not gonna read them ha. so yeah I mean I miss you guys and I'm sure you guys also miss much really I had my A-levels this year so I was kind of busy with it and there's not m not much going on although I'm just starting my vlog this video is a part of my vlog and I thought making it making one dedicated to you guys would be the best thing to do for now I mean, since it's GYLT season. Congrats! Many of us graduated this year. Yay! And to those who are going to graduate next year or the year after that, best of luck, guys. Yeah, so... Many of us are planning for universities, colleges, and so on, and I haven't still decided where I'm planning to go. Although many of you have gotten into great universities and going places, so congrats to you guys again yeah so well ULC was a horrible ride sort of horrible sort of amazing hated the experience adored the experience it's really a mixed feeling i mean really mixed feeling you know the most shocking and weird part of about ULC is not ULC but what happens after it in the past year from GYLC to this period of time, I had 30 dreams, yes, three zero dreams regarding GYLC. That's the highest record I have of having a dream about something particular. And the most weird part of it is that I died in many of them. I know, I died in like 10 to 15 of them. And there was, I remember in one of them, Jamil was Men in Black, like the movie. and. He was recruiting us for some alien invasion, and then in one, in one, in the other one, Katie was fighting a dinosaur. Yeah, and some weird stuff. We were having a slumber party. We were having cake parties, Halloweens, this and that. I don't remember most of them, but then I do know I died in many of them. Ah, <sighs> so much for my death. And I mean, not happened. I felt it's like. Um, I'm not a first of all. I'm not a person who competes with anyone, or I don't. I don't like competition at all. I'm a person of my own, and I do things that I want to do. I don't. Want, I don't compete with studies, with extracurricular activities, or anything. I'm not a competitive person at all. But then, if I have to be competitive, I would rather be competitive with one of you. I mean, one of the person in GYLC. Who I, who I have my eyes on. I'm like, this person, if I ever get competitive, I want it to be against this person. It's like, if that person is Sherlock, I want to be Moriarty. If this person is Batman, I want to be the Joker. If that person is Thor, I want to be Loki. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be on the bad side, because that's more fun. And that person seems to be on the good side. Oh, that person? I'm not gonna name her. I'm just gonna use her code name, Alpha Romeo. Yeah. If you are watching this, I know it might be a little weird and freaky for you to have someone admire you. 
although I think many people do admire you, but then I don't know if they have told you or not, but then I do admire you. We haven't talked since GYLC. I mean, just hello, hi, bye bye, that's all. And after GYLC, we haven't. I wanted to talk to you more. Like, I see you online. Oh, she's online. What should I do? Like, nah, I don't want to knock her. I was scared. I'm scared. Still am. Because I think you're awesome, man. I don't go up to your level to even talk to you. I mean, what can we even talk about, you know? I mean, I don't know what to talk to I'm like, okay, hi, how are you? That's that's it. What more can we talk about? Alfa Romeo, right? And it's kind of really embarrassing for me to talk this under the camera, but then I planned on doing it anyway, and I thought this would be the best moment to talk about it. About my admiration for you and you know what I have a thing of nicknaming people and I have got a nickname for you um, I call you the Pendragon's will Pendragon is Arthur Pendragon the sword in stone Excalibur I I have a lot of fantasy well in my head and in one of them you are the wielder of Excalibur and fighting for saving people Sort of, yeah. And I am the Earth's magical vessel and I fight with magic and stuff. But then, yeah. That kind of makes me sound like Merlin and you like Arthur. That makes me your supporter, your supporting pillar. But then, no. I'd rather be your opposing team. I'd rather be in your opposing team than be with you because you are quite the challenge, Missy. And you're fantastic. Okay, that's weird to say. But then I'm saying it anyway. That's the point of my vlog. Saying what I feel. Yeah, and I don't know if I can ever knock you up on Facebook and tell you, Hey, Alfa Romeo, how are you doing? Because, be honest, it scares the hell out of me. It seriously does. And you know what? I'm, I actually have a song dedicated for you is by it's suddenly i see by katie Tunsal or something i don't know her last name but that whenever i listen to that song i'm like okay alpha romeo type i mean that's like her uh, enough about alpha romeo and my fantasy about facing her off in an epic battle that will stay there now you guys i don't know what else to talk about because there's so much to talk about and if it's not it's not gonna stop so all I can say to the end is best of luck with your life and do whatever you can, do whatever you want to and be yourself because you're awesome the way you are. See ya.